Hello, I'm Miranda Kahn. A federal court sentences a former CIA director to two years probation. This after the four-star general pled guilty to giving classified information to his mistress. Petraeus will also have to pay a $100,000 fine. His career more or less ended after his extramarital affair came to light. Before the sentence was read, Petraeus apologized for his actions. Meanwhile, the convicted Boston Marathon bomber doesn't appear to be very apologetic at all. In fact, yesterday the jury saw this video of Joe Karzornayev making a quick, obscene gesture to a camera in a courthouse holding cell. A picture from that video was used by prosecutors during their opening statements this week. The prosecutor says it shows Zarnayev as unconcerned and unchanged after the attack. President Obama offered his condolences today after two al-Qaeda hostages were killed during an anti-terror operation. One of them was an American man, the other Italian. As president and as commander-in-chief, I take full responsibility for all our counterterrorism operations, including the one that inadvertently took the lives of Warren and Giovanni. The strike in January hit an al-Qaeda camp along the Afghan-Pakistani border. The Senate confirms Loretta Lynch as the country's next attorney general, ending a five-month deadlock. The path to the vote was cleared last night. That's after the Senate passed an unrelated human trafficking bill. Some Republicans say they're concerned over Lynch's confirmation. I asked Ms. Lynch about her views on Fast and Furious, on the IRS scandal, and other ways the department has been politicized. She didn't demonstrate that she's uh, that she'd do things differently. Instead, she gave non-answers. But Democrats say Lynch is highly qualified for the job. She'll be the first African American female attorney general. More breakdowns in security at the Secret Service. A report from the Homeland Security Department says the alarm system at the George H. W. Bush's home was broken for more than a year before it was fixed. But the report also says the Secret Service used patrols and cameras to keep an eye on the property while the alarm was broken. There were no intrusions. Sad news today for art lovers. Mary Doyle Keefe was the model for Norman Rockwell's famous painting. It was the cover, as you may recall, of the Saturday Evening Post in May of 1943. Keefe was paid just $10 to sit for Rockwell. She died this week in Connecticut. Keefe was 92 years old. That was your latest Newsmax Now update. We'll have more coming your way in 30 minutes. And as always, stay connected by going to Newsmax.com.